Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. Listen to some Sarka, band from Norway. Got a brew from Norway. This is Hanbrigret. Hanbrigret. I don't know how to say it exactly, but it means hand brewery. Brigret, I think it's called, but I don't know. This is their Norwegian Harvest Ale. Hissu. Hissu. Which is uh, Harvest Ale. Ill is ale in uh, Scandinavian language is pretty sure. Uh, let's give it a read. Drammen, Norway. They're from. Brewing was very much a part of farm life in old Norway. Indeed, farmers were required by law to make beer and could lose their lands if they went two years without brewing. Custom called for a very special, hearty, but refreshing ale cart at harvest time. The Han Brewery is just four guys making beer in their spare time on an absurdly small scale. This Hysel or Harvest Ale is full bodied and a little smoky. It is it, it just as it was in the old days. Awesome stuff. Really cool. Really glad I get a chance to try this. Uh, Let's see what it's to see what it's like. It's carbonated. Not overly carbonated, but carbonated. Okay guys, here it is. Just a little haze, really nice color to it. A little bit of um, amber, a little bit of uh, red and orange hues in there. Nice. Doesn't look really sedimenty. Nice uh, carbonation from the bottom here. Really nice looking ale, I'll tell you what. Do me a favor guys, anybody who watches this channel, when you pour a beer, Try to tip the glass, just please, because it's so painful me, for me to watch someone pour a beer like Bleh, and <laughs> there's a, oh, I don't know why this head is so big. I wonder why. Not being a dick, just pour the damn, tip the glass. Anyway, let's get into this one. Okay, smells a little, a little, uh, wild. Let's just say wild with the yeast. I'm actually, it smells a little weedy, a wheat, a um, little bit of a spicy kind of a clove, coriander, yeah I am getting a touch of smokiness, I don't know if that's from my hands with the wood stove or from this, I'm getting a little bit of a wild yeast, um, kind of a belgian -y style. Um, if they, um, a lot of the ancient Norwegian ales didn't have hops. They didn't have hops in Norway, so they used uh, berries, a lot of different Lincoln berries and stuff, to give their beer a distinctive flavor. Um, a lot of ales back in the old time, in Celtic times and stuff, the wines especially, they weren't really tasty. They didn't taste very good. They're kind of, uh, you know, just made on the fly, things like that. So they weren't refined. So. Um, a lot of the people, they did put a lot of spices, a lot of berries, a lot of extra things to kind of uh, help round out the flavors, make them taste better. And uh, hops didn't get introduced into England and into uh, the Norwegian countries until pretty pretty damn late in the, in the go. So uh, the, a lot of berries were used in their ales. I could be completely wrong though. So let's give this one a taste. Cheers. It's really soft. It's really subtle. It's got a nice carbonation. It kind of lifts it up and then brings it back down again. It's something that's not too overcomplicated. This reminds me a little bit of Grimbergen. 
It's just a really nice, sessionable, Belgian-style ale. Because of the yeast they use, I think, it's giving a little bit of that Belgian flavor. That kind of wild yeast. And a harvest ale should be a little wild, a little raw and natural. Very, very soft caramels going on here. Very soft malts. Little bit of bread, that kind of toast, toast crumbs. A little smoke. Very faint. I need a better vinyl player. This skips a lot because these new vinyls are so, so particular with the grooves. Yeah. Right at the end, you get a touch of um, the wild yeast playing on your tongue. Almost borders on the sour and then stops and cleans out. A very clean ale. There's definitely earthy tones going on. Now, you're getting a little bit of grassy notes on, off that too. It's definitely a complex ale, but in a very, very, very subtle way. Someone who's used to big, big, bold, spiced up harvest ales, winter ales and stuff would find this dull. But it's really weird because it's so... You can drink this, talk to people, eat, and you won't even... It won't ruin your day. But it's still got its own character. Especially when you breathe it in, you're breathing all that wild ester, all that smoke that's in there. All these little pinpoint things. But it leaves your palate relatively clean. Yeah. It's not the greatest thing in the world. It's not, I really wish there was a little bit more into the either berries or spices or just a bigger malt base to give you, it really screams, give me residual sweetness. Let me die properly at the end so I'm not clawingly sweet or anything, but give me a backbone. I don't have one right now. <clears throat> and, and that's what it says to me, that this doesn't have a good backbone. You need a little bit more. If there was a little bit more toffee or something like that or caramel just playing on the tongue just enough not a lot just a little bit more it, it, this would be really really okay good. guys <clears throat> pop the sedimentation in just a little bit of uh, coffee grounds not a big deal you get a lot more of that wild funkiness coming out of this you get a slight bit of those uh, like kind of a, a vice uh, Belgian wheat beer kind of qualities. Um, and at the same time, that also lifts up in the beer. And those wild, earthy tones, uh, they do dance on your tongue for just a little bit longer. You get a slight warming from the alcohol. But... Most of the time, it's pretty much still the same thing. I actually think I'm not a real big fan of the uh, that kind of almost Bregomitis kind of style um, yeast. Just I don't know the funks. You know, I'm not really big on the wild funks. But it kind of fits with the sale because of the fact that it's a harvest ale. You want to just you're brewing with stuff you had from the outside. It's very raw. It's natural. It's earthy. Um, and it gives you that kind of wild character. So, it's pretty good. <sighs> For drinkability, without the sediment, probably gonna give it like a seven, like a seven point five, maybe an eight. And with the, because um, it's really easily drinkable if. Just boom, 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 right back down. If, if there's, because there's not much to it. So I'm gonna give that one a 7.5. With this, with the extra character from the uh, wild yeast and stuff, and I know people do like it, and I can understand that. So I'm gonna bump it up to an eight with the yeast. So without the sediment, 7.5. With the sediment, I'm gonna bump it up to an eight. This has been the Harvest Ale 
from Han Jigerit from Drummond, Norway. This has been Paul from PA Brew News. Cheers.